Oh, oh yeah, check out that truck. That's a sweet ass thing. Nice paint. Whew. Good morning, guys. My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be saying goodbye to this hair tomorrow, but it's totally worth it. So, today, we have some running around to go do, so we got to go do that really quick. Riley Rue says hello. Click that red subscribe button and we'll roll that intro. Here we go. We got our well, we got Riley. Riley, a new dresser. So now we gotta wiggle it into the house. Boop, right there. Cone's got a good idea here. He's just coloring his pumpkins. Did you get one from school today? Yes. You did? Ooh, and what are you gonna do with it? Um we will um we'll lie and make a face. You're gonna make a face, a jack-o'-lantern? Uh, no, no, like a Terry one. Yeah, jack-o'-lantern? No. Yeah, like this one. But cut it out? No, we're not done. Oh, you're just gonna color it? No, we're not done. Oh, you're not coloring it? We just like, um, we do a, like, dotted open. Oh. Dotted, dotted open. Okay, um, okay. Um, uh, 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 um, we will... Slow pumpkin. We will... Rock you. Uh, <laughs> we will... Um... Well, we eventually are going we to carve... We will make a face like... I, I will make a circle, then another circle, then... Yeah. And uh, uh, a mild face like like this, like um, like that. Mm -hmm. You know, like this. So eventually, we will be carving our pumpkins like, here that we got at home that are big enough to carve, of course, because some of these smaller ones. Well, I don't think we can like carve those. This, like Don't color on the. No, 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 no. no, no I, don't. All right, well, it's a little windy outside, so we had to move it inside. Anyways, um, I want to give you guys a little update. Uh, Friday, we didn't have a video. Saturday, we didn't have a video. Sunday, I actually recorded a video, but I forgot that I corrupted. The file was corrupt for, chap for chapter 7 in Genesis, so I read chapter 8. So I didn't want to publish chapter 8 without having chapter 7. That way, we still have the follow, you guys that are following along with the Bible study, the Bible reading. Um, we're ended in Genesis 6, and so I gotta go back and I gotta read chapter 7 again, make a video for you guys, and then upload that, publish it, and then number 8 can go. Because I, I don't want it to be out of order. So I thought that'd be a little weird if it was, so I, I held off on publishing that Sunday. And then yesterday we had our pumpkin patch video and if you guys haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. I know there's a, it's 20 minutes, it's a long video, but there's a ton of fun stuff in it. And if you get a chance to go there, definitely go there and have a blast. For today, we're going to go ahead and end off the vlog. I know it's super short. We got Riley a dresser, and now we're going to be in the process of switching his clothes over, which I don't really want to show you guys that. Like, you know, we don't need to show his clothes and all that. Switching over, plus all the stuff on top of his dresser. <laughs> That's where the fun begins. So we're going to end off by reading our day-by-day -day devotions for dads. And today is join, rejoice, provide. Keep your eyes wide open before marriage. Half shut afterwards, Benjamin Franklin. We should not be so naive to think there is only one way to build a family. According to the 2010 U.S. Census, 69% of children live under one roof with both parents. Almost 23% live with their mother only. 12% divorced or separated. 1% widowed. 10% never married. About 3.5% live with their father only. That was me. Except, like, 
this past few years. <clears throat> exactly 4% live with neither of their parents. In every category, many of the kids are doing great. In every category, some are not. We all know parents who are getting the job done for their kids despite tragic or difficult situations. Still, shouldn't we do everything possible to give our kids the best chance to succeed in life emotionally, physically, academically, socially, and spiritually? Statistics are readily available and are not surprising, but here are just a few. Children of divorced are twice as likely to drop out of school or commit suicide. Mm. A child in a female-headed house is ten times more likely to be beaten or murdered. Teenagers in single-parent or blended families are three times more likely to need psychological help within a given year. So, how can we possibly uncover the best plan for building a family? What God has joined together, let no one separate. Mark 10, 9. Rejoice in the wife of your youth. Proverbs 5, 18. Children don't provide for their parents. Rather, parents provide for their children. 2 Corinthians twelve fourteen. Invite God to your wedding. Invite God into your marriage. Stay married. Find joy with your bride. Together, provide for your kids. No real surprise, right? What about you? Did the above stats fill you with hope, determination, satisfaction, or regret? What is your next step? Uh, I love that. The biggest point here, make it about God. Make everything in your life about God. Everything. Thank Him for everything. Give everything to Him. Seek Him always. Like it does amazing things for you, and it does amazing things in your life. And it's done. He has done amazing things in our lives, in my life. Even in your guys' life, just being part of the RT Vet family. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, this little vlog. And if you did, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. Ring the bell so you're notified when we have an upload. And we will see you tomorrow in another video. Have a great night. And God bless. <laughs> AV's getting some parts soon. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got it fixed in view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.